I, I need to talk about this KFC commercial. <laughs> I have okay. not seen such a funny commercial in so long. Oh, nice. I'll start with the audition. So the audition was just supposed to be um, your best uh, figure skating moves or whatever. And I thought about that and I was like, I'm not gonna be on ice and like, you know, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. So I just, uh, I threw down, uh, I like to move it, move it by uh, what's his face, you know? I think I was the only one that brought music too. So I threw, down, I threw it down on my cell phone and then I just improvised, you know, like my best dance moves. And I was doing like some Tina Turner and some Austin Powers and like whatever else, and, uh, and, and some call on me, you know? And, uh, and I have like a bit of a history with dance. Uh, I've been dancing since high school and was in like the Young Canadians and stuff. And so, uh, yeah, I was pretty comfortable to let her rip. And then, uh, and then the second call, the callback was just uh, me looking right in the lens and like grabbing the chicken, biting the chicken. <laughs> you know, like, that was it. It was just biting the chicken. That was the whole callback session? That was it, yeah. I didn't even have to dance. I like, brought my music and everything. I was ready to go. I practiced a little few more moves. No, just bite the chicken. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so then, then they wanted to, to me to prove that I could ski. So, uh, so we had to go down to some, some like flat park field uh, uh, near Queen Street. I can't remember where. And, uh, and I just... You know, I did my little, <laughs> I'll scoot down the, the, the flat hill. And they're like, okay, good, yeah, yeah all right, good. You know, and there's like three other guys there. And then, uh, and then we all booked the, the audition. And uh, he was the, the guy with the mustache, with the icicles on his mustache. And uh, they, they were really concerned about the look, so we had to go wig shopping, uh, which was fun. Uh, we were all trying on different wigs and making faces at each other and stuff, but, uh, uh, he eventually settled on this, that, that big, beautiful blonde wig. And uh, we went, went back to the studio and the, the hair lady was super stressed out because nothing was working on this wig and he wasn't sure what he wanted. He just wanted something big and bodacious. <laughs> and uh, so we worked it for a long time. And, uh, and uh, they worked the makeup for a long time and there was a lot of me sitting there and testing it out. They put me in uh, some different jeans and, and I had to stand in front of this boardroom of, of executives, you know, and they're all just like, mm, you know, and like, turn around, please. <laughs> and then they're, they're like openly discuss details of my wardrobe right there, right? And they're like, we can see the outline of his manhood there. That's no good. We can't sell that, all right? And his ass looks too flat. We need to put some pads in there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, like, <laughs> all this stuff, like. They were, they were like, just like I wasn't even there, you know? And so I was just like, okay, how long do we have to do this for? And whatever, we, we worked it out and they finally settled on the look. And, uh, and then uh, on the day, they, uh, they had soap blasting in the sky. It was soap, because it was actually raining that day. So they, yeah, they had soap make it look like snow. And uh, I wasn't allowed to ski, even though they made me prove I could. <laughs> Uh, they said it was a liability, and if I got hurt, they were going to be screwed. So they had a stunt double, and it was this 19-year-old uh, kid from New York. He was like a professional skier. He could do a back tuck on the, on the skis, or so he said. And uh, um, he, did, he did all the skiing. The, the time that you see me, I'm riding a sled. I'm like straddling this box horse that, they're, that they have these guys like running with. <laughs> and I'm just doing the like... <sighs> You know, as I, as I go through. Um, and, uh, and then the big finale of the thing is this backflip, right? So, so they wanted to get me uh, uh, butting the chicken mid-backflip before I landed it, you know? It was, so, so they had me hanging off of the gondola upside down, and I have to do like a crunch up like this, right? And I'm holding myself. And then uh, I, I like go down, and I look right in the camera, and I'm like, I was supposed to like wink and then like continue the back foot, right? And uh, you know, it was the end of the day and I'd been eating the greasy chicken all day and it was covered in soap. And I was feeling a little queasy, all right? So the first time I hung upside down, I told the stunt guys, I was like, guys, I'm feeling nauseous. And they're like, don't worry, we got you, man. Don't worry, we got you. This is gonna look so good, it's gonna look so good. 
<laughs> and so I do, it, I do it once, and, I, and they let me down, and I was really seeing stars. And uh, they're like, please, please, can you do it one more time? It looks so good. And I, OK, one more time. So I did it. I projectile vomited. They yeah. called a rap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how we wrapped the, the KFC commercial. I was like, ah! <laughs> There was like a hush that fell over the crew. Like there was, there, you could hear a pin drop. And uh, then the director was just like, that's a wrap. 